Hi guys, Robbo46 here. Now, Milestone has finally released some footage of the MotoGP21 bike retrieval system. And uh, it is playing on screen now. I'll leave a link in the description for the original uh, video so that you can watch without me talking over it. Um, but we're going to try and break it down a little bit today and just have a look to see what is actually happening. So they're using Danilo Petrucci. Poor Danilo Petrucci. He doesn't get a break, does he? He had a, well, the first crash of uh, the 2021 season. And then, uh, yeah, they've used him in this uh, clip as well. So, obviously, this is on board. And then they go, uh, get back to your bike as fast as possible to rejoin the race. Then they have a crash. Now, the crash does, if I just pause it there, um, it is the weird onboard crash that we had initially on MotoGP 20. I'm hoping that that is just, you know, one example and there will be more um, different camera angles for crashing um, so that you can actually see what happens to your rider. And then, obviously, there, there's a cut screen here. Obviously, the MotoGP21 logo comes up and then it goes to Petrucci standing up. I'm hoping that cut isn't actually there in the game. It's a little bit weird if it is. Um, you know, if the crash actually followed your rider instead of, you know, then just cutting and then you stood up um then that's that probably a slightly better way of doing it um so back again we'll slow it down a little bit as well um obviously into the gravel now the other thing i want to look at is the actual controls which come up on screen now obviously you just move your rider with the analog stick um no indication whether we have to manually pick up the bike itself or whether we literally go over to it and then it's automatic. Um, I know with the likes of Track Day R, you have to press a, a button to pick your bike up, uh, another button to get on and another button to bump start. Whether we're going to have a bump start system or anything as well, we'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely looking interesting. There's another little interesting thing here. You can see, I'm assuming it's bits of rubber coming off the rear of Petrucci's bike there. Um, unless it's going to be... Uh, I don't know when MotoGP 20 first came out, there's a weird thing that when you had damage, weird little flecks of your bike were like coming off every now and again. So whether it's that or whether that is actually rubber off the tyre coming off, no idea. But yeah, it's definitely a step in the right direction. Obviously, we now fully have um, a bike retrieval system, which is fantastic. And yeah, just looking forward to seeing how it actually plays itself, whether you can actually turn it off, um, especially for time trials. Otherwise, that will get a little bit annoying. Um, and obviously, for new players who may spend a lot of their time um, at the beginning crashing a lot. So uh, obviously, we've got the, uh, the rewind system as well. So yeah. Um, that's obviously one way of getting around it. And obviously, there are the people that done the um, the uh, initial play of the, the 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 beta test for MotoGP 21. This wasn't actually in the game itself. They were just having the normal respawn. So it wouldn't surprise me if you can turn this on and off, which is good. But yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. Um, that is a little look and breakdown of the retrieval, bike retrieval system on MotoGP 21. That is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe and to wash your hands and to look after yourselves. I'll see you guys next time. See you.